What's up guys, it's me, it's me, it's the HT, Hispanic Tango here for another episode of Bravely Default. Now last episode we uh, had a little bit of trouble going through the uh, woods over here, um, but I guess we kind of figured it out, not really. Um, let's see, I do need some more ethers. Yeah, I'm spending a lot of money on ethers. Ethers cost a lot. Alright, uh, let's see. Update, looks like our... Got a gift from the trader. Okay, let's move on. Well, this is unusual. It's not often you reach out to contact me directly, Dark Knight. I'll not take up more of your time than necessary. I have a request of a delicate nature. The Blood Rose Legion is deployed in Florum. If this favor poses no conflict to my mission, I'll consider it. The Vestal of Wind has entered Florum. We're certain of it. Ah. Hence the news I just received that Victoria and Victor will be joining us there. I see. The only problem is that Idea is accompanying her. Accompanying the Vestal? She's been deceived, seduced by that witch's words. I tried to talk some sense into her, but the two of you are practically sisters. Perhaps she'll listen to you, if not me. Will you do this? <laughs> that girl has caused you no end of grief over the years. Very well. I shall do all I can. But should my sisters make contact first? Best you gave up on her. I'm afraid even I can scarcely keep these two in check any longer. I... I understand. Girls, you heard him. You will continue your current mission as ordered. The Vestal may attack at any moment. Stay vigilant. Yes, sister. All right, so we made our way out of the Miasma Woods with the foul stench. All right, hey, does anyone smell anything, something, or whatever, something funny? Uh, what is that? It's strong eye. Ah, it's like something rotting. My eyes are watering. Perhaps we were smelling the Miasma Woods namesake. I doubt it. The wind is blowing in the opposite direction. Feels like it's coming from the north. Ring a bell. When was the last time you took a bath? Uh, if it were my natural must, you and Agnes would be losing your minds with desire about now. Nothing, no response at all. Uh, well, I guess that was a failed attempt. Alright. Looks like we have a long way to go. <clears throat> Let's see. Looks like Floris, that's Floris right there. Of course, we had to reach an enemy before. Okay, uh, I guess this is where I really want to, uh, make sure that I, uh, reach a, uh, reach a hotel or motel, whatever you want to call it. No. Hold on, guys. All right, guys, um, I was uh, doing the little battle here, and the um, my editing software popped up on top. So um, basically, I mean, of course I won the battle, but uh, Tiz leveled up, and that's the only real thing that happened there. Um, but I kind of wish, our first things first, after all these animations, I need to get to a inn and stay the night to gather all of my stuff again. But, uh, looks like we are in Florum, Land of Radiant Flowers. It's a bunch of girls. Ring a bell would love it here. Uh, is it, uh, is it just me, or are there awfully few men around? Florum is called the Land of Radiant Flowers for a reason. All its residents are female. What? 
A whole nation of women, you say? <laughs> he was like, what? And if a man comes here, what do they do to him? You needn't worry. Men cannot take up residence, but no law bars them from visiting. You're red as a beast, Tiz. Are you blushing? Oh no, I just... Hearing it's all ladies here. I just got a little nervous is all. <laughs> That's adorable! Uh, hey, I just didn't know, alright? Don't tease me. Look here, Tiz. My journal describes this place in crisp detail. True to the old teachings, Florum's women live in chaste humility, in coexistence with the spirits of nature. Devout crystallists, they reject war and conflict, instead choosing lives of peaceful reflection. Hear that? A land of maidens, pure and modest, fit to shame the flowers of the field. Angels all. Give or take those two. Feast your eyes! Well, I finally had it dyed! Brightest color I've seen yet! Well, have you seen this? A seared hairpin! My coin purse is empty, but come on! Worth it! Pure and, well, maybe not so much modest. But surely they seek external beauty to match their... <gasps> what the heck was that? What's wrong? Oh, that's cruel. She's soaking wet. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. I was dazed by your hideous hair and my hand slipped. <laughs> In the world? Hmm? That awful cow dropped something. It's a flyer. 47th annual Sacred Flower Festival, it says. Ah, the yearly competition to decide the most beautiful flower in Florum. Lovely. A beauty contest. Now I'll never shut up. But that isn't right. The Sacred Flower Festival is a day of solemn observance of the crystallist faith. What's more, this place is different. Its streets were not so overrun with glamour and idle pleasure. I worry for Olivia as well. Let us go to speak with Florum's matriarch at once. All right, we got the hill part shop taken care of. That's gonna be nine hours. But uh, first things first, we're gonna make sure that this thing gets taken care of ASAP. <clears throat> All right, party chat. A change city. I right, whoa, this place is incredible. Look at how shiny the floors are. I can ring a bell. What are you looking at? Uh oh, uh, various things. That was deep in thought, you see. And why did I just catch you looking at my reflection? It's different. All of this is completely different than the last time I was here. I recall it being two tiered city built upon the river surface, but before the lower tier was residential, while the upper was reserved for crystallist institutions. Uh, what of the giant stage at the top? Did that serve a religious function? I have no idea, nor could I even guess what sort of place all that neon is advertising. Uh, just what in the world could have happened here? Uh, I guess we'll find out later. I need to go to the inn first, though. Alrighty, party chat. Two tired boys. Yawn. You said it. What's got you two yawning first thing in the morning? Actually, don't answer that ring a bell. I can guess, but Tiz, why are you so tired? Isn't it obvious? 
Those darn neon signs were flickering all night long. And as soon as I finally get some sleep, Mr. Night Owl here comes stumbling back to the room. And we already know you're a ner neurotic sleeper. Can we call it a light sleeper? Uh, look, here's some coffee. These are dire times, so I made it black. Thanks, that's great. Look at this one. He fell asleep still holding the cup. I'll go drowning in your coffee, ring a bell. Another party chat. Norende's population. The village is coming along well, but there still aren't enough people. I hear you. It would be nice to up the pace a little. Uh, can you send word out to everyone you know and ask for their little help? You three are everyone I know. Right, sorry. I'm afraid the only people I know are those from the temple. That makes sense. Don't look at me. I'm not conscripting women into physical labor. Fine, I guess I'll have to ask my people then. Alright, I kind of went traitor, huh? Well then, we'll just have to go meet some new people to enlist. But how are we going to details? We'll just head someplace with a lot of people and trust our luck. Alright, so now I guess we gotta go up here. Find out what's going on. was limited only to the most beautiful. But you guide this land's laws, Lady Matriarch. Did you notice no change? Not until it was complete, I fear. It truly was an insidious thing. And now I am left to curse my powerlessness to reverse this corrosive tide. I join you in despair. Lady Matriarch, my pure and... Going to cut you off there, ring -a Lady Matriarch, I wish to speak with the Vestal of Water. Is Olivia at the temple? Ah, oh, of course. The two of you were so inseparable as girls. You scarce passed a day apart. Seems almost yesterday that... Fond memories of fairer times... But I fear the Vestal of Water is in hiding. Even I cannot say where she makes her hermitage. No. Then, how does the Temple of Water fare? It suffers for the absence of its mistress and her acolytes. These months have seen it go ragged. Agnes, it may still hold some clue. Why don't we begin there? Yes. Yes, of course. All right, so now I guess we gotta go to the uh, another part of the chat. The water vestal and me. It sounds like you and the water or vestal of water were really close. Olivia was one of my and only friend. She's very dear to me. We are the same age. We were selected as vestalings around the same time. Then we succeeded our predecessors and became full vestals together as well. We were always together, walking the same path in step. 
I do not know that I could have endured the Vestal training without her. She was always the talented one, smarter than I, but kinder as well. She shone so bright. There was a time we traded letters nearly every day. Despite the distance separating us, she always felt close by. Once we became Vestals, our responsibilities kept us from writing as often, but I never imagined anything like this. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find her. She'll probably... She's probably busy looking for you right now, too. Yes, of course, and thank you, Tiz. You are welcome, Agnes. We are here to help. Uh, where do I need to go now? Uh, where am I? I'm over there. I need to go up here. No. Alright, whatever. Fire. Fire. Should be able to handle it just uh, on this. Bam. Alright, ring a bell leveled up. Soon, um, what's her face? Agnes will level up. No, Adia will level up. And then Agnes will level up. See, I guess this is it. Is this it right here? Yes, it is. All right. Let's see what happens if I go back in there. Is the party chat there? No, I lost the party chat. No. All right. But uh It's all right. It's whatever. All right, guys. We're going to end the episode here. So please leave your likes, comment, subscribe to the channel, and next time we will take on the Temple of Water. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.